Today I went over to Toys R Us and they had some pretty crazy Funko Pops and sodas. Okay everybody, so we have made it to the section and I gotta say there is some pretty new stuff that I, oh, hi Nate. <laughs> and I guess we'll start with down here where they've got like Devin Booker, actually a bunch of different new basketball ones. They've also got Rob Halford over here, some of the Temple of Khonshu left over, and then on this side, both versions of Sam. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't know where this one was normally exclusive to, but it's him with the lollipop. It's kind of nice. Oh, and then just above these, we've got the SDCC He-Man, which looks really great, especially the metallic suit. I'm loving it. And now let me back up a little bit to see what else we've got going on, like a bunch of the new WWE ones, as well as more of the basketball. Then I saw one over here that I wanted to show you guys. Aha! The Devil Kronk, and I believe I have the Angel one? I think so. I'm gonna be getting him anyway. Oh, and then just to the right of that, we've got the brand new Chucky, as well as Longshot from X-Men. And now this one is pretty interesting, especially with the way they did his face. I like it a lot. And then besides them, I show them off every time, but they've got a bunch of Squid Game. They've also got like Skeletor on Throne, as well as Loki and Sylvie still, which is a really great one to see. And then Jason Tatum, so more basketball. Ghostbusters Afterlife, Anthony Davis. I don't know, I'm trying to find stuff that's new. Oh, Sir Mix-a-Lot, they didn't have that last time. It's him actually standing on a, uh, well, a buttocks, if you guys wanna check that out. <laughs> oh, and then over here, I like to show it off, guys, the Captain America with prototype shield. I believe they only have one left. It's kinda cool to see. And actually, I didn't pick up this one. Ooh, if I can get it back in, there we go. I didn't pick up this Superman last time I was here. I know I was kinda bummed they didn't have the chase, but I think I'm still gonna be getting it today because it is a pretty nice pop. And now out of the big section, they do always have this stuff over here like the pop pins as well as the Funko Gold and it looks like they did get some new ones in because I see DMX in the corner here but uh, in terms of pop pins I'm not really seeing much that's new and I've been looking for some of the Star Wars ones and I mean they've got these but I'm pretty sure I have every single one of those and I guess we can take a look at the pocket pops that are right next to the gold figures and they have some pretty decent ones like the Venom from the Mech Strike Monster Hunters as well as Freddy the tie-dye version and then down here we've got some of the Miss Marvel and Obi-Wan oh and now hold on guys I almost missed out on these they've got a bunch of the advent calendars and I do have all of them already in the collection I'm saving them for a giant advent calendar video so we don't need to get them but if you're looking for them in Canada they're over here at Toys R Us Okay, so we're out of Toys R Us, and I gotta say, the amount of sodas they had were crazy. And Nate, I think you also got some Pokemon cards. Got some Pokemon cards, but yeah, the sodas they got they had in today were pretty cool. We'll I know. Check them back when we get to the studio. Yes, Blacklight Huckleberry Hound, Blacklight Grape Ape, it's gonna be crazy. Like I said, guys, some decent stuff. And now I know I haven't shown off the sodas yet, they were behind the counter, I apologize. Like, I try to film as much as I can, but when it comes to back there, there's probably like two or three workers always at the counter, it's not really possible. But that, of course, doesn't stop me from buying sodas and I told you guys I ended up getting grape ape as well as huckleberry hound but I didn't just get one of each I ended up grabbing well four of each because for these ones here I really do want to get the chases and I don't have it for either of them so I figured why not let's just get as many as I can oh no pun intended and now hold on this isn't everything that I got today because I also stopped by the post office and I had a couple soda packages arrive with the first one being my Fright Nights box and then the other one being two three liter Wampa sodas. And so I figured why not let's make this a huge soda unboxing but before we do that let's get into the Toys R Us stuff. Oh and actually now that I think about it I also did end up grabbing two pops while I was there. The Superman that you guys saw and this is a really great one. Because even though it isn't the chase I do really like the pose they put him in. He's flying and I believe the only difference is the fact that his eyes aren't red and then he doesn't glow in the dark. I think that's it. So it's nothing too crazy and I figured if I see the chase in the future I'll pick it up but for now this one is totally okay. And then the other one that I got that you guys definitely saw was Kronk and I believe I do have Angel Kronk I think I probably should have checked before I filmed but I remember buying him in a video eh, whatever if I have him I have him it doesn't really matter to me I just think it's cool to have this figure in general and I know I did get the Yzma a little while ago it was her as the cat that one's pretty cool so I have been getting a couple of them just not every single one alrighty so now let's get into these black light sodas and I think we're gonna alternate back and forth to make it kind of interesting and so with that being said let's start with this great ape here and I'm really hoping I do get that chase if you guys want to see before I open it up these are the normal colors and I believe it's just a different colored black light figure so if it's the chase one it doesn't look like this alrighty so here we go I'm not gonna look in the bottom and let's find out okay this is the common yeah it looks like it alrighty Huckleberry Hound number one and this one here the Huckleberry Hound is actually a little bit more limited and if you guys want to see what the normal colors are there it is this one is 6,000 pieces when the grape ape is 7,500 and fingers crossed I can get that chase 
Come on! Ah, it looks like a common. And now here's the thing, there's still cool ones to have in the collection, but I already have both the commons. I really just need the chases. Alrighty, so we are back on a grape ape, and let's find out if we're gonna be getting that chase when I hope I get at least one today. I mean, buying four of each, it's pretty likely, but it's not 100%. So let's find out if I got it on this one. Oh, I saw the pink on his body, and I thought it was different, but no, it's another common. Which is again, too bad, but it doesn't end there. And now let's get into our second Huckleberry Hound, and I'm hoping, come on, let's get it. Oh, and also for anybody wondering, the Grey Pape was exclusive to New York Comic Con when this one here, the Huckleberry Hound, was over at San Diego. I believe, yes, that was the order. And I thought it was weird that they got both of them in at the same time, because they are completely different conventions. And so anyways, let's find out if we got that Huckleberry Hound. Ah ha ha, it's another common. Gah. Alrighty, everyone, Grape Ape number three. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if I know what the chase colors are. They're just gonna be different, and then I guess I'll get excited about it. So, let's find out, please. <laughs> we got another common Grape Ape. Well, three out of four so far, it is not looking too promising, but we're not done yet, so let's get into the third one for Huck, and I hope so. And I guess the good news is that they did have more of these. Or oh, actually, now that I think about it, I believe I bought every single Huckleberry Hound, but they had two cases of the Grape Ape, so I could go back and get him. So for Huckleberry Hound, I just need to get it today. Please be different. Please be different. Please be different. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is way different than I expected. Like, take a look at that, guys. There's the chase. And now, for anybody curious what this one is limited to, it is one out of 1,000 Huckleberry Hound in pink. Pretty sick. I guess we can get the second common one out of the way, and let's just keep the two there. And now, let's hope this is the chase grape ape. Because if not, I could go back and get more, but who wants to do that? Let's just hope that we get one today. And here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. It's another common. So I have officially opened up five gray papes, which does kind of suck, but I guess I could get more. Oh, I really don't want to. And now I know you guys are gonna get mad at me if I don't open up this Huckleberry Hound, so we have to find out if it's a chase or not. Because seriously, I don't really care. You can't return them over at Toys R Us anyways. They don't let you, I asked. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't have anyways. But still, let's find out if we got another one. And no, this is just a common, but hey, good to know. And now even though that wasn't perfect, we did still end up getting one chase. And now let's get into the Wampas and then we'll open up the Fright Night box after and if I'm gonna be honest uh, I don't know it's hard to tell if you guys are wondering why I'm feeling about it, it's because the chase is missing an arm so it's probably gonna be a little bit lighter but I still don't know what that feels like they're very similar oh and also now that I think about it I haven't opened up very many of the three liter sodas on the channel so if you guys want to take a look at it there is the front of it it comes in like this giant bottle and then that's what the figure looks like on the back and if you want to open this up you take the bottom and you kind of like push and pull at the same time and then it pops off off just like that and now let me see if I can find the front for you guys okay it's this way you guys ready three two one I'm seeing an arm okay so this one here is the common wampa and it really does look nice it's just too bad because I already have one of these guys and so because we got the common let's hope that this one here is the chase and let me find the front for you guys okay it's this way please be no arm please be no arm please be no arm come on well everybody it's another common wampa but the good news is i accidentally ordered two more on the funko shops we'll be opening up more of them soon and i guess it works out but still Alrighty, now let's get into the fright night box and i do want to let you guys know before i open this up i actually did order one of the fright night sodas that you could get inside of these boxes off of whatnot and i know that probably wasn't the best idea but it was a decent deal so i figured why not let Let's go for it. And I'm hoping that that one isn't inside of this box. I'm going to be honest, I haven't checked yet. And so I guess let's just pop this lid off and fingers crossed I don't get that sewn. And also inside of here, you do get, I saw one of them, you do get three Funko Pops. And they should all be different Freddy Funko variants. So let me put it here so I can see it. Ooh, but you guys can't. And I guess we'll start with this one here, which is the Freddy Zombie. Like, seriously, a great one. Look at the blood on the front. I like it a lot. And I think this is honestly... Oh, oh, come on. This one was on the side of where the sodas were. And if you guys look, there was a massive dent. 
Like, if I put a bit of a glare on it, there is definitely an indent. That is too bad. I've actually seen a lot of people's coming in like that, so a bit of poor packaging on Funko's part, but it's still a really, really amazing pop, and I'm probably gonna display it fine anyways. I mean, there's no damage on the front, so I don't really mind. But I gotta say though, this Freddy turned out amazing. I also really enjoy how they made it kind of like a zombie walks where his one foot is in front of the other. Like they're not straight like this. It's more of like one in front. You guys know what I mean. And then the other figure that I got that I knew was gonna be inside because you could choose one box or another and this was the guaranteed figure. It is the Freddy Funko as Nosferatu. Whenever I think of Nosferatu, I always think of that SpongeBob episode. That's why I got it. And I also really enjoyed that he's got the little rat next to him. And just overall, this is a really, really well done figure. I like how they gave him the bushy eyebrows and the teeth. I like it a lot. I feel like I said I like it twice. Eh. Anyways, I do like it. Now let's get into the third one. Then we'll start cracking open the sodas. And the third one is probably the one that I wanted the most out of this box. It is Freddy Funko as the creature from the Black Lagoon. A couple years ago, my Uncle Mike was actually nice enough to gift me the Freddy Funko as Wolfman. So it's cool that I now have two of them in the collection. And I don't know if there's any other characters like this. Hmm. There's Freddy Funko as Frankenstein, which I do have as well. Yeah, I can see it over there. And now the question is, is there any others of the like classic universal monsters? I'm not sure. I'll have to do some digging. And now let's get into the sodas that I got. And these here are some pretty limited ones, like the Freddy Funko as player 456, limited to 4,000 pieces. I'm looking on the back and I really enjoy that he's got the Dalgona cookie in his hand. Super well done. And I also have two others from this as well. So it's cool that I've now got another one to go in the set. And then the other one that I got is Freddy Funko as Spirit. And this one was limited to 3,000 pieces. So even rarer. And I know that some of these guys have different variants like Glow in the Dark. So I'll have to check on this one because it might be that. I'm not 100% sure. And then the last one that we got is the other Blacklight one. Okay, this is great. So I ended up getting the Blacklight version where his face was yellow and then his hair was blue. This is the white and pink one, so perfect. And so I guess we'll start with the least limited one, which is the Freddy Funko Blacklight, which is still pretty rare at 5,000 pieces. Like that's most chases for the regular soda. And now I understand that there is no chases for this one. So it's literally just whatever amount it says on the can is what it's limited to. But still, this is a really cool one. And I'm so glad I was able to get it for my set. If you guys saw my video the other day, you would know that they're the exact same sculpt, just different colors. And I think I might like this one a little bit more. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Because the yellow one is pretty cool, but there's something about the pink, white, and blue that just really stands out to me. It's gonna be super bright on my shelf. And now, everyone, we've got the Freddy Funko as player 456. And I wanna see how they did the Dalgona cookie in his hand. Is it gonna be like printed on or maybe like a little bit etched in? I don't know. So here we go, guys. Let's find out what we've got going on. And it looks like, uh, I can't tell yet. And I'll be honest, if it's etched in, I'm gonna be super surprised because of how small that cookie is. Okay, no, it's just printed on top, but still a really well well done figure. And I like that it's got 456 on the jacket. It's pretty cool. Oh, and it's too bad because on, the, wait a second. Oh, hold on. On the back of the can, it says 456 on his suit. Do you guys see what I'm talking about there? Like right there on his jacket, it says 456, but then on mine, it doesn't have that. If anybody else was able to get this soda, please let me know if yours has that. Cause that's kind of annoying. Actually, maybe I got the rarer version where he doesn't have the numbers. Freddy Funko. Oh, Freddy Funko is player 456 without 456 on the the front. That is a weird variant. And I'm kidding, of course. Come on. <laughs> well, anywho, still a really cool one to have in the collection. And now let's get into the Freddy Funko of Spirit and find out if this is the glow in the dark one or the normal one. And if it is glow, it's kind of technically a chase. It's a variant. I don't know. They're similar. Like what they probably could have done is gave some of these sodas chases just by making them limited to say like 10,000 and putting them together, but they didn't. And they kind of made them separate. So I don't know. We'll find out what I've got here today. And it looks like it might glow. I'm not exactly sure just from looking at it, but I really do enjoy that blue. It looks very phantom-y. And now let's find out on the pog if this thing does glow. No, it just says Freddy Funko is spirit limited to one out of 3,000. So it isn't like a rare variant or anything like that, but still 3,000 pieces for a soda is pretty crazy. And well guys, there we go. That is all of the sodas for today. And let me know in the comment section below, which one would you want to have in your collection the most? But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.